Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. Welcome back to The Forge. Today, we're gonna to be making this anchor. I was approached recently by a customer who asked me if I could make them a three-prong, grapply, hooky, styly anchor, which I have done. I'm gonna show you how I made it today in this video. Um, I'm recording some of this retrospectively because um, I feel like what I had recorded and put together was a bit clunky. So enjoy the video, I'll try not to talk too much, and uh, I'll see you at the end. First jobs first, let's make the body of the anchor. In order to do that, I'm gonna take some round bar and forge it into some hexagonal stock. I'm gonna be using the bolt technique, which I used and explained in a previous video. I'll leave a link to that somewhere, and I'll explain why we need hexagonal stock in just a minute. Using this reasonably crude demonstration, um, I'm gonna take these three washers to represent round stock. Now the reason there's, there's no point just welding three bits of round bar together is because we leave a gap in the center. I know welding expert, fire welding expert, but I do know that if you leave gaps in things, they cause problems. Uh, this is sometimes referred to as setting the world. It's like removing the gaps between the layers of dissimilar metals when you make a Damascus steel or something like that. Um, but anywhere where we have an issue like this, where we have a cavity, it often creates problems when we come to fire weld stuff together. So if we could remove that, that would be a good idea. So if I move these out of the way and swap them for some hexagonal objects, some nuts, if I place these nuts together here, you can see that what we have now is no gap and we have faces touching each other. But we've now got another problem. We're actually going to be fire welding through a shear plane. So if I uh, place this side on the anvil and I hit this side it, straight on, it's gonna push the material apart. So we need to overcome the shear plane somehow. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that as well. Simply by taking a piece of angle iron, I can demonstrate how I'm going to overcome the shear plane issue. Uh, this way, when I push now on this bolt here, instead of these two being forced apart, they're actually gonna get forced together. So I can push quite hard on there. Now, if I swap my finger for a hammer and say the angle iron was a swage block, then you can see how we are able to now forge these components together, even though they are through a shear plane because we have three points of contact.
shit so it's upright. crazy idea worked. Um, we managed to get it all welded together which is quite nice um, but as we were sort of dressing up this end down here it came apart a couple of times we had to reheat it and re-weld it so I'm not 100% happy with this bottom part here so in order to stop it from coming apart I've just welded the end up I've done that for two reasons if it does get snagged and gets tugged on nice and hard it might pull apart I don't want that to happen I mean it would take a lot of force but it you know stranger things have happened at sea but um tsh <laughs> but also I don't want any water to go up here and cause any excessive rusting internally so that's why I've done that. So next job is to move on and make the stock. This video was made possible by you lovely people at home, either you pledged as a Patreon, that's their names whizzing past the screen now, or you bought this anchor like the crazy customer that went, can you make me an anchor, or you bought something from the shop online. All the links to those bits are in the description, so thank you very much. But if you are someone who has liked a video in the past, or you've subscribed, um, or you've left a comment, thank you so much, you also make this happen. So uh, keep it up, and I'll keep doing it, basically. Thank you very much. 
The stock is completed. I've got the little R clip on there, got the chain on, and I've done the holes for, uh, for locking it in. Really happy with how this has turned out. Was this necessary to do? No, it was probably a waste of time. Uh, <laughs> the stock is used to keep a normal traditional anchor at the right angle, and um, to be honest with you, I don't think this is gonna tip over. I was a bit worried it might tip over in this position a bit too far. But, you know, it makes it look the part. That's the main thing. Let's just talk about the shackle and chain. Okay, so I bought this chain and shackle in order to put on the end of the anchor. I don't think it looks too out of place. It isn't right, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Now, I've made a deal with the owner of this anchor. I said to them, if I can keep the anchor for a week or two and see if we can get a thousand likes on the video, I would make him a new shackle and chain. So if you want to get my man a new shackle and chain and you want to see a video of me doing that, leave a like and I will attempt to, in the not so distant future, produce a piece of chain just like this one with a lovely little shackle on the end. Cool. Right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, please ring that bell for notifications. It tells you every time I make a video. I try to make videos as often as humanly possible. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, there's a few simple things you can do. Leave a comment, say hello. I try and read them all, um, and I do try to reply to as many as possible. Not always so easy. You could also share this video with your friends and on other platforms. Head down to the description where you'll find a couple of links, one to my website slash shop, one for the Instagram, and one for the Patreon. Uh, all three of these ways are great ways to support the channel as well, and if you're feeling that way inclined, pledging as a Patreon or buying something from the shop really does help. And if you'd like to support me by buying something as part of a project like this Anchor one, you can do that as well. Send me an email and we can discuss what you'd like me to try and make. Um, I'm up for pretty much anything uh, within certain remits, obviously. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any good ideas. Right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll leave a link up here to a video that YouTube thinks is best for you. I'll leave a link down here uh, to the most recently uploaded. This one over here is something Something I think relates to this anchor video really well and just there is the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye bye.